Father, our Father, which art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and power, the power, and the glory, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. I see some of my teammates putting different eye blacks under their eyes, and. Uh, they're putting like their mom's name or their area code under their eyes and so I start to think, you know, I wonder if I could put something under my eyes that maybe could encourage someone or inspire someone. So I was like, well, God bless, I don't know. And then I was like, well, Philippians 4.13, I could do that. You know, I can do all things through Christ strengthens me. I was like, that would be, that'd be good for a football player. So I put it under my eyes. And as probably a lot of you know, Gator fans are very passionate. So four, five, six weeks later, they're selling it at the Gator bookstore, at the Florida library. <laughs> you have thousands of fans showing up to games wearing Philippians 4.13 under their eyes. And I honestly believe half of them don't even know what it means. I had one guy, his name was Phil, come up to me and say, hey, did you wear that under your eyes for me? <laughs> I was like, no, it's a Bible verse. <laughs> Jesus is better than anything that we could ever hope. Even better than the Super Bowl, better than the NFL career. Is the any NFL coach supposed to say that? That anything is better than the Super Bowl? Don't Jesus, you. yeah. First Corinthians 10 31. Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, so whether you eat or drink or play sports or watch sports, how do you do that to the glory of God? Particularly in a culture that idolizes sports in so many ways. You pray and you cover yourself. Yeah. So before the game, I pray at least four or five times before I step on the floor. That's awesome. And uh, just, yeah. just basically just keeping me strong, you know, because yeah. there's so many, so many things have been thrown at me sure. on the court, off the court. And there's sometimes where I do fall, uh, but I always have to remember, you know, what I stand for. I gave myself to the Lord, wanted to be a Christian. 2004 when I got married, you know, I kind of went away from it, went to the University of Georgia. Um, 2004 when I got married, two months later me and my wife um, who grew up in the church got baptized together and then, um, and then I kind of went away from it again but then it grew more into it when my, my caddy yelled at me a little bit and um, so I've been stronger, I've been getting stronger in my faith and reading the Bible more and more and, um, and then second I gotta thank uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> This day means so much more than, than putting on this green jacket in many ways. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from Augusta National, but we will bring you much more. As I was getting ready to run out of the tunnel, I really felt like God was putting in my heart to change the verse. I was like, really, right now? And But I realized that if we won, we'd be playing a national championship on one of the biggest stages that I might ever get, and so that would be the right opportunity to change the verse. God kept bringing it to my heart and my head, John 3.16, because it's the essence of our Christianity. It's the essence of our hope. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It's what gives us hope as Christians. So I decided to go with that. And what goes into a streak to get you to the level you've been at over these last 12 games? What goes into that, Kevin? Thank God. That's all I can say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, thank you. You don't have nothing to do with it. No, uh, nothing. It's all him. Thank you. Mike. That's Jesus. Jesus has always been there. He'll, he'll never, never leave you, never forsake you. Thank you, sir, John. This is a no you know, it's simple. You know, Jesus saved us, and Jesus is the only answer. In His name, that we go out there and perform and, and compete and, and use the, the gifts He's given us in the right way. Steph Curry fires away. Got it. Are you kidding me? There are priorities in life. You know, obviously, your faith is, is is first and foremost. I do a little sign on the court every time I make a shot or make a good pass, and I pound my chest and point to the sky and. That symbolizes that I have a heart for God, um, something that my mom and I came up with in college, and, and I do it every time I step on the floor as a reminder of, of who I'm playing for. And people should know who I represent and, and, and why I am who I am, and that's because of my Lord and Savior, so I can't say that enough. I went back to the dress room, and as I was walking back and forward to cool off, started thinking, who cares about a stinking boxing match? When I got money, I got cars, I said I could, re I could retire now and die, die. 
couldn't fight it. It just started to dominate my conversation. I realized I was about to die in a dirty old dress room with all those homes I had. Right within my thoughts, I heard, the, I heard a voice say, you believe in God, why are you scared to die? And give money to charity and for cancer. And a voice answered me right back, I don't want your money, I want you. And I remember tears coming down because I knew that was it. My leg gave out of me. And I said, yeah. And I said, you just witnessed a miracle and you won't believe it. When they rushed me to intensive care, I lost a boxing match, but I was where I wanted to be in life. And I've been telling that story since. Hey, Coach Meyer, can I talk to you for a second? He's like, yeah, how you feeling? Your arm good, leg good, you ready for the game? I was like, yeah, I'm good. Uh, you know the verse I'm wearing in my He's like, yeah, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ, strengthens me, I love it. I was like, well, I'm gonna change that verse tomorrow night. What? What are you talking about? You can't change that verse. That verse got us here. <laughs> uh, it didn't get us here. So after a couple minutes of explaining it to him, he totally was supportive and understood. And honestly, after that, I didn't re even really think about it. I just went out there and tried to win the championship game. We were blessed to win. And two days later, I was at Ballyhoo Restaurant in Gainesville, Florida, with me, my mom, my dad, my aunt, and um, Coach Meyer. And, Probably some of you have been to Valley Hoos and I was just sitting there eating a grouper and um, Coach Meyer gets a call and he's like, uh-huh, 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 all right, bye. And I was like, who is that? He said, that was Steve McLean, here's our PR guy at Florida. So what do you have to say? He said, did you know that during that game, 94 million people Googled John 316? And honestly, my first thought was, how the heck do 94 million people not know John 316? <laughs> <laughs> you can win and still be a Christian. I I'm sorry, what, what was that? In fact, you can win a lot and still be a Christian in a positive light. You can win all the time and still shine for Jesus. So I'd just like to thank the Lord Jesus because without him I wouldn't have this talent to play tennis. J'aimerais également remercier Luigi, me semble-t-il avoir compris, car sans lui je ne serais pas un joueur de tennis. Are you aware of the growing interest in your backpack? Can you give fans at all a hint as to what's inside of it? My iPad, I got my Bible, I got my headphones, and my phone charger. But if he wants to promote me or humble me, uh, that, has, that is in his hands. You know, I don't think God cares about a certain game or race or performance, but he does care, care about the condition of our heart. God has a purpose. He brings me back into his kingdom to, to use me to glorify his name, to let them, the people know that there is God who can raise the people from nothing into something. Care to take a guess as to what they will actually weigh when they get into the ring tomorrow night? I would guess that Mayweather will have a seven to eight pound uh, advantage over Pacquiao in terms of weight. Pacquiao was painfully honest about how his life changed four years ago. I want to, to have uh, uh, friends around me and drinking and have girls are beside me and of course gambling. But then he says he heard the voice of God in a dream. I hate to do that anymore and my heart is want to, to read the Bible, want to obey God and that's, that's my heart. That's how God changed my life. The winner of the FIFA World Player 2007, Kaka! He's not just graceful, he's strong and determined. And look at the acceleration. It's a wonderful run from Kaka. It's a wonderful goal from Kaka! Eagle eye referee, I'm not so sure about that. Here's Kaka. He's seen off Fletcher. He's seen off Fancy. He's still going. It's wonderful from Kaka! Tonight, it's a really special night for me because when I was young, I dreamed became just a professional player for Sao Paulo and play one game for the national team. Just it. But the Bible says God has got more than we can think or than we can want. And this is what happened in my life. Thank you. Go. Brady takes the snap. Here's the blitz. Rolls to the right. Fires to the right. It is intercepted in the end zone. Because God says he's placed eternity in our hearts. So all of us know, whether we're professed to be atheists or whether we're Christian, all of us know inside that there is a God. There is something. We're, ha we're here for a reason. And the only way your vertical relationship can be made right is through the blood of his son. 
by turning and repenting of your sins, by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. All sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so th to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. Yep, it, just like that, we lost him. Bounds at the Patriot one yard line. Ben Watson shows the hustle, doesn't give up on the play, and he hit Tim. Thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the power of Jesus, I won this in Germany tonight. You know, I came here to Germany in the lion's den to a great, great champion in Vladimir Klitschko. Oh, my Lord, my Savior, my rock, my salvation, give me the glory tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. Then it comes to a stage in life where you've done, basically, if you've... Well, I've been a professional boxer since I've been 20, and I've been in the media since I've been 20. I've been a, a national star since I've been 20, really. All my fights have been live on TV. Mm -hmm. So I've had a lot of media coverage and attention over the past six years. So you can imagine the kind of stuff that I've got up to within them six years. Mm -hmm. So basically, been there, done everything there is to do, basically. And it's time for a change, you know, I've found God. I've asked God to come into my life and change the way I am because I don't like the person I am. Mm -hmm. I like it when I'm doing it, but after it's done, I feel guilty and regretted. Right. So that old me is gone. Have you got anything you can tell us about? about yes, I have. I've got lots to tell you. Go on, just give us... Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Is that your reaction to what people who want you off the spotty shortlist? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. And what about you being stripped of your belt? Yes, I mean, I that, that, that's, uh, you must be very unhappy with that. What's your reaction to that? Jesus loves me, and he loves you too, and he loves you too. He loves these people in here, and he loves everybody in the world. Any you final know. message to those people who, who have criticised you in recent... There's been a lot of criticism from people in signing petitions to the uh, Scottish national people, to all sorts of yes, people. Yes, yes. Just, give us, just give us your take on it. Do you stand by your comments? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. OK, Tyson. The only way is through Jesus into heaven. That's all I can say. The A to Z, the Alpha, the Omega. Thanks. Jesus is the way, the key, and the only way into heaven. Okay, Tyson, thank you. The evangelical is, is the most outspoken. It's the most, to, to quote Mike Silver, in, in his view, the most over the top, which is the very definition of being an evangelical Christian. Right. And I have absolutely, as a Christian myself, no problem with that.